Hi Leo, welcome to this Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia. So the energy, the, what I was getting was that you may have thought you put this twin flame, your person behind you, but you're recognising that you haven't. You still think about them. You still, they still come into your awareness. Maybe you're seeing synchronicities of twin flames, 11, 11, whatever. Um, so you haven't got over them. And I feel this is connected to your inner work of how you deal with things. If something isn't right, you just think you just, okay, put it beneath you, put it behind you. I feel that's what this is. But I'll go into the cards to see what this is, um, to see what they say. I've posted, I normally do a collective, but I've done a collective on the Facebook group. If you want to go check that out, if you like my readings, um, and you're welcome to join the Facebook groups in the description box. Others of us post it, you know, who are in mission, post in there as well. So you can check that out. And you get free stuff, free advice, all that kind of good stuff there. Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords, eh? That's why you thought you put it behind you. Okay, so the first card, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. And then the magician card then i'll jump into these so yeah something happened lie cheat still tower your foundation crumbled with your connection but like i said what i'm getting with my seven of swords the broken mirror because it's a broken mirror smashed to pieces right it but a mirror is a reflection so it's reflecting to, to you to look at a situation. If you look at these Eight of Pentacles, that's you. See, she's facing the Seven of Swords. But like I said, the initial energy, I feel you don't face things. And that's what most people don't do. This is to do with spiritual bullshit. Turn the other cheek, no negativity, please. Only happy thoughts. There's bollocks. The law of the planet, the uh, perpetual law of transmutation of energy, which is my counselling, is that you have to continually, perputation, continually transmute energy. It doesn't say continually transmute positive energy. And energy is a polarity of negative and positive. The bullshit spiritual leaders say to avoid the negative. But the law, the air you breathe, is to continually transmute it. Now, you can't transmute it unless you face it. And it's hard work, Eight of Pentacles, to face the Seven of Swords. But unless you do that, you don't manifest. All you manifest is negative. Just not facing it, you're not transmuting it. So if you're not transmuting it, which means getting rid of it, then you're keeping it. So if you're keeping it, or another law, which many people know, like attracts like, then that's why you manifest shit. Seven of Swords. Because you keep the negative with inside of you. It's a broken mirror. And that's what your person is mirroring to you. So something happened, which a foundation crumbled from a lie cheat still, because you are lying to yourself. You're cheating yourself. You're stealing your happiness from yourself. Same lies cheat still. It's a mirror. That's what your person is. Now you might say, well, my person's cheating on me with several men, several women, or and lying to me constantly. I ain't doing that. The universe only sees what it is. It doesn't define in individual needs. It's quite basic. You know what a lie is right so if you know you've had sexual abuse abandonment neglect your family treat you shit you was beaten as a child or something and you're not dealing with it one law perpetration transmutation of energy let's call it that because it's a long title right then the other law is 
Then you're lying to yourself. You reap what you sow. So you get lies. And that lie might come in someone cheating on you or something like that. It is a lie is a lie. You are thinking, well, maybe if my person had sexual abuse because I had sexual abuse and I'm lying about that. So maybe they lie about that. It doesn't work like that. A lie is a lie. If I go into a sweet shop and nick a lollipop, right, this bullshit law, although this might work in my favour, but this bullshit law, man-made bullshit law, is that if I stole a lollipop, I get a slap on the wrist and say, don't steal again. If you steal again, then you go, you know, you know, go to court, let's say. But if I went into a sweet shop and I put a gun at someone's head and stole from the till, I'll go into prison. I said that's bullshit law. Natural laws of the planet is both situations you know not to steal. So you get karma. If that, they don't work on degrees. Because you might think your person is lying and, and cheating over there. The universe is, is more kind than you. Because if someone's over there cheating on you, why do they cheat? Maybe you had sexual abuse and you uh, reacted differently by not going for your wishes and desires and working hard in work to suppress that lie to yourself. Maybe they turned out to be promiscuous. Hence, many twin flames have many partners. So the universe doesn't go into what you do, why it happens. It's just don't do it. A lie is a lie, right? Since the lollipop, I know not to go and steal a lollipop, right? I know not to go and steal with a gun and steal from the till. Don't do any. That's natural laws. That's this magician card. It's incorporating all alchemical elements. The Queen of Wands is your fake bullshit spiritual leader or believing in the system of just be nice, just be good. Just be happy and um, put some crystals around my neck, wear a crystal necklace with bling bling and, you know, maybe stretch out, do some yoga, walk barefoot in nature and that will do. Right? Tower. Don't do shit, does it? Tower. The sun is like, you think, like I said, you think by the Queen of Wands is facing the sun, you think by doing this bullshit because my queen of wands in this reading particularly is my bullshit spirituality yep you're holding in all this you're holding in you're suppressing anger let's put it that way i don't think what i'm picking up from you is not someone who's aggressive but you're you're suppressing your aggression like many people will say to me, in my readings, I come across angry. I'm not angry, I'm passionate. But even if I was angry, what the fuck is wrong with that? We don't have an emotion of anger for no reason. Do you see? But you're suppressing it. You're turning the other. This is, look, facing it or I'll, I'll, I'll just, um, I'll just... I'll do spiritual bullshit and it will just get me my happiness. And thinking it will be divinely done if I just focus on positivity, happy thoughts, my wishes and my de desires, and it will be a good uh, uh, and suppress any anger or past shit, tower moments, lies, deceit, just focus on my happiness and the wheel of fortune, destiny will put it into me. Ten of swords in your ass. Not working, is it? Ten of swords. Because it don't work. Because it's bollocks. Because it's bullshit spirituality. That's what it is. So you need to change this. Because the first card is you're going to keep manifesting. You manifesting constantly the seven of swords and constantly having tower moments. Until you understand. Stop thinking, swords, this incorrect bullshit spirituality about your happiness. And waiting for the divine to... That's vanity of you thinking 
that just by you doing the easier option, right, that everything's going to come towards you. Now, there's something you're working at. So you could be, right, working hard at getting a website to do Reiki. Wrong version of doing it absolutely wrong version of doing it it's a lack mentality here as well and you can be angry because you're not getting no customers because you're not using natural laws right that's why so you're working at something but you're not manifesting your happiness so allow me or us in this community to help you to manifest your happiness book me for an image reading counseling or join the facebook group and pick someone else who can help you speak to you later